Alright guys, so you already know my one of my biggest dream cars, the biggest dream car is the GT3 RS, right? So if you're ever wondering how I would spec it, this is probably the closest I've seen to the exact spec that I would have my GT3 RS. Check this out guys. This car is the most perfect gorgeous car in this meet. For me at the moment, from everything I've seen, honestly, this is what I would take home. The owner tells me he's put about 7,000 miles in it already and he's only done oil changes. It hasn't given him any problems and that is the beauty about Porsche and why I love him so much. Remember, when I say which car I would take, I'm not saying which car I would take because it's the most expensive and I would sell. No, that doesn't count. That's not cool. It's which car you would take because you want to enjoy it and drive it and love it. And this right here, guys, it does not get better than this. Bang for your buck, quality, daily drivability, and performance. This is where the balance is at right here. All right, guys, check this out. We have a Koenig Special Mercedes. Check this out, guys. It's got a certificate of origin, Mercedes W126560 is SEC. This car is sick. So this car has a stock V8 in it, but I've got to tell you, the body kit on this is phenomenal. I even love the wheels on it. It's very unique and it gives, I don't know, I feel like it gives it a retro look, man. Wow. Oh, cute puppy. Love it. <laughs> Bye. Now, guys, this is another car I just ran into. Check this out, guys. Boom. Here we have a 935. And it's got a DP VIN, which means it was born a 935 and it was never a 930 converted. And it is 104 with this extended windshield. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the windshield on this is extremely long. And they have this car and actually I believe another three more at RMC Miami. These guys are really cool and they have an amazing collection of cars in there. I've been to their shop once or twice and they definitely have some quality cars. So if you're looking for anything like this, especially Porsche, check them out guys. This car is gorgeous. And as you can see, it says it right there on the plate, 935 DP. Well, one of the things I love about Miami is you're checking out a DP 935 and then all of a sudden you got a Sion coming in out of nowhere gotta love Miami <laughs> What a beautiful car, guys. The same one that I looked at the other time about a month ago, and here she is out on the streets, being driven as every good car should. Wow, and he was just revving it up, so he's definitely broken her in. it again look at the engine and transmission of this pantera you want to see mid-engine this is the definition of mid-engine oh my god that is awesome you're practically sitting on the engine in this car 
That is wild. So we are making our way back to where my car is. Let's see what else has arrived. Oh, the slant nose. Wow. Check out this slant nose, guys. It looks sick. Look at that. Gorgeous. We have a Lambo, white Lambo with a white Lambo. They're everywhere, these Lambos. Gallardo. And he's probably gonna get on it as he leaves. I'll bet you a dollar. That's on the turbo. Oh, here we got a pista. Yo. Now we have a rev off. The Supra versus the Perfumante. Who will win? now this is pretty awesome when i got here i didn't think much of it because i saw a young lady drawing on a car did not know it would be a masterpiece you did an awesome job you see you were working hard look at that miami vice getting into an m4 guys huh just oh yeah there we go is this the side bolt? Is this the side bolt? Oh, Getting goodness. out is harder. Oh my god. Once oh you're in god. there, it's really like... Oh, you're in here. It's, it you're you're not it's, going it's anywhere. It's a very comfortable... I mean, I am... Because when, I, got in, when wow. I got in the C6, I was looking at the C63 and then those, those performance seats were not comfy at all. Wow. I did not like the AMG seats. So this one here... No, these, these seats, this actually... It feels like it's it's hugging me, and and I'm in here. It's even hugging my legs. I mean, yeah, it hugs so, you on the thighs, man. Yeah, like, that's, so that's incredible. The real, like thing. So when you're cornering, that's where you really feel it. So wait till you actually break it in and start taking some corners. I guess on a track or anything. Because yeah, in there's Miami, actually, there's actually I'm, drift analyzer on this thing. Too. Oh yeah, I've I've seen that in the reviews, that's like man. A cool and that's feature that this thing has. That's awesome. Like you have to go to a track and try that oh, out yeah, because no, like I'm you can't not try that I'm out. I'm definitely gonna do it on the track. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, here you guys have it, the M4, brand new 2021. It's got the M1 and two buns, which you can customize. One of the cool little details I like about this is, look, the plus and the minus on the paddles is a little hole in the carbon fiber. I think that's awesome. And it's also got a nice little, like, grip in the back. You see that red? So that it just makes it more comfortable, I guess, to shift. Man, this car is comfortable. Like, once you're in, now let, let's see the getting out process. Mind you, I can't open the door all the way because of the grass. You know what though? When you it's, open the door all the way, it's actually easier, but- wait, I'm, I'm sure you... it is. Now this car is gorgeous, guys. I mean, check this out, guys. Brand new M4. And the seats are surprisingly comfortable. I kid you not, these are bucket seats. That matte white is Freaking killing it, guys. Holy smokes. What are the odds? Two weekends and I run into the M3 and the M4. Thanks to my baby right here. That is awesome GTR. Mother of God. I'm not gonna lie. This 720S makes this GTR look like a monster truck. Look at this, guys. That's kind of funny. I mean, the GTR is not known for being a low car, but it looks ginormous next to the 720. And look at the wing on it. This is a big boy wing right here. Not gonna lie, that Nardo Gray is working. It is definitely working. Beautiful carbon fiber wing on this 720. Oof. Gorgeous Viper, love this. We have the M4. 
And we got these beautiful vipers right here. Between these two, which one would you guys take? I'm a big fan of this one because I like that ducktail. The S, the GTS versus the SRT10. This is all me right here. Just like that. Red with the white lines. And look at the stance on this Huracan. This thing looks so sick from afar. It just looks mean. Look at that. Boom. It's got that, as they call it, forged composite interior, as you guys can see. Forged composite on the wing. Swan neck right here. Forged composite everywhere. That's that new carbon fiber that is actually not as strong as the regular weave carbon fiber, but it is strong enough for this type of parts. Not to make a chassis or anything, but it's strong enough for that. And here we are guys, we are getting the Sion is now going to leave the meet. Just on time guys, this thing is gorgeous. Hopefully he'll get on it when he leaves. And here he goes guys. Now this thing is gorgeous man. I'm so happy he's driving it in the street. Trying to get through traffic. <laughs> There he goes. Traffic stopped and everything. That was awesome. We got some Lotus revs going on here. Lotus Evora S. So we have some revs going from the truck as well. Some competition, man. <laughs> Have a good one, man. Sounds beautiful. So that about does it for today's vlog. We had some fun. We saw some really cool cars. We even saved a crash drone out of the sky, which fell on the street right over there. Now, out of all the cars that we saw today, which one would you guys take? Let me know in the comments below. You guys know me. Out of everything that we saw today, I would totally take that GT3 RS that we saw, the Miami blue one. That thing was just sick. Let me know in the comments below again, guys. Which one would you take? Anyways, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. And just as I'm leaving the meet guys, I run into this awesome 135 or 135. I followed this guy on Instagram forever. Turns out he works out here at Prestige. His name is Christian and this car is gorgeous. So we figured we'd put them together side by side and do a little shoot. Boom. It's 135 power, baby. Woo!